Heinrich, you took a couple of pretty good hits today. How are you feeling kind of generally after the game? Are you feeling pretty good? Yeah. Up? Yep, feeling okay. You know, nothing like a good Big Ten matchup. You know, the Purdue was a – they were a physical team, and, you know, they brought a lot of guys down in the box, but we made them pay for it a couple of times, so it was all worth it. Heinrich, it looked like on that on the one in the fourth quarter um, where you were running to the edge that you maybe didn't – did you see that guy? That looked like – no, I I didn't. I was trying to keep my eyes downfield. Um, I was trying to direct traffic, and you know, took a took a shot for it. But you know, that's something that you know. I mean, you saw, you know, John Bullock take a hit like that too. You know, that's part of the game. We're gonna keep we keep battling. You know, I'm not gonna be scared of defenders when I'm rolling out now. I'm gonna keep my eyes downfield and try and direct traffic. Coach said that you came off kind of. It, 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 I think he said kind of bloody after that one. Is that where were you like? What happened on that? And then you had the yeah. fumble on the next play. How, how what, can you describe that that sequence and how you felt? Yeah, I mean, you know that it was a physical game. You know, I had blood in the normal spots on the arm, on the fingers, stuff like that. And then that one, um, I don't know, he just got me really good underneath the chin and was bleeding from my mouth, and they couldn't get it to stop. So I had to come out for a little bit, but all good. Another uh, another true freshman wide receiver makes a big play for you guys today. What can you say about Jalen and just the true freshman, how they've really kind of stepped up the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean that's that's a play that, you know, last week when you guys were asking me about Malachi, you know, I was I wanted to say so bad, you know, Jalen, you know, we we got plays dialed up for Jalen too, but you know, obviously you wanted to keep that keep that under wraps. But you know, that that's a guy that you know we were waiting for. We were waiting for the right time to call that play and you know he <laughs> He's a fast. He's a fast kid. So love throwing to him. Henry, a big uh, connection with Jaden Dawson on third down. I think that drive your four on third down. Is it just can you speak about your how you guys succeed on third down there, and also Jaden, you know, stepping up. Yeah, I mean, all week we talked about third downs, like third downs, taking care of the ball, and you know, I think we did a good job on third downs. So we accomplished one of the two, um, but you know, we wanted. We had a good package for third down this week, and we wanted to go out and execute it. We wanted to be over 50% um, on third down because we knew that if we can stay on the field, you know, keep keep the ball moving, uh, we had a good we had a great chance to win this game. Do you see any sort of common thread on the fumbles throughout the game, or anything you attribute that to? You know, I mean, it seems like a lot of the times, you know, especially you know Jeff and I, the the last two, um, you know, we just kind of held up in a weird position. You know, maybe it's, you know, we, we got to work on that you know, for sure. Um, we can't keep doing that. You know, we we talk about, you know, ball security with the running backs. We can't be hypocritical. Like, that is that is our job is to protect the ball. So, you know, we're going to go into practice this week with intention to fix that. You know, and that's, you know, we've been saying that for, you know, five years now. But I mean, we have to do it if we want to keep succeeding. Is that, a, is that a challenging spot to protect the ball? And are you kind of exposed there? You talk about when you get held up, is it difficult to hang on to the ball at times? Yeah, I mean, but everything in this game I feel like is difficult. You know, you got guys, you know, is pass setting against a 6'5", 285-pound freak of nature hard? Yeah, so everything that we do, you know, the majority of things we do is diff are difficult. So we got to work on all those things. Yeah, Eric, you guys, uh, after the 0-2 start, you guys battle back on 5-6. Perfect hooks over. How proud of you? What does it say about the team to respond the way you have, even though obviously it's not perfect, it's still, you're still winning? Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> – we knew this season was going to be a bloodbath. Every game that we went into, you know, as a first team, as a first-year team, you know, we've got stuff that we got to fix. And, you know, I talk about it every week, you know, the little turnovers – Stuff like that, but I mean, defense, special teams, you know, offense. I think did a did a better job today. Um, just doing little stuff better, you know. And so I think as we continue to grow, you know, this season, you know, as we get into this later part later part of the season, you know, I think we're a team that we're built to succeed in this later part. You've seen this program since you were a kid. What would it mean to lead them back to a bowl game? Yeah, I mean, I think it just, you know. It, I think it just show the trajectory that we're going. Um, we we got to keep fighting, you know. And then for the years to come, you know, just setting setting this program up for success for, you know, two, five, ten years down the road, you know, hopefully getting us to a bowl game, um, you know, that would do it. Heinrich, 
you, when you came back in after after Jeff series, and it was then a ten point game, and, and he led that drive. What kind of a mindset do you do you think it took, not just from you, but from the whole offense, to to stand up there and not give them the ball back and an opportunity to cut it to three? Yeah, it's. I mean, it was an RDV mindset. You know, we're we have to hang on to the ball. You know, it is four minute mode. I'm following the ball carrier. Emmett did a fantastic job all day, hanging on to the ball. Um, and especially on that last or the drive that you're talking about, you know, he was <coughs> five points of contact, taking care of the ball. And so I was really, I'm really proud of Emmett. You know, he's stepped <coughs> up. He stepped up. Uh, you know, <laughs> as a young kid, and you know, he's held on to the ball really well, and he's running the ball. Thank you. Thank you.